CompTIA ITF Plus, FC0-U61, Practice Exam. Questions 141 through 145. This video is part of our practice exam video series, and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 141. Within an organization, employees utilize a mix of older and newer laptops. Which two types of connectors should be present in the meeting room to guarantee that all employees can connect to the room's projectors? Choose two. The answer is B and D. HDMI and VGA. HDMI, or High Definition Multimedia Interface, is a connector widely used in newer laptops and devices, offering high-quality video and audio through a single cable. On the other hand, VGA, or Video Graphics Array, is an older connector type that was standard on many older laptops and devices. By providing both HDMI and VGA connectors in the meeting room, the organization ensures compatibility for both newer and older laptop models, enabling all employees to connect to the projectors regardless of the age of their device. Question 142. How does a NoSQL database structure its data? The answer is C. Keys and values. NoSQL databases often utilize a key-value pair structure to organize and store data. In this model, a unique key corresponds to specific data or a value. The key allows for efficient retrieval of its associated value, making it especially suited for databases with large volumes of data that require rapid access. This structure contrasts with traditional relational databases, which use tables with rows and columns. Question 143. While designing a video game, a developer designs a character named Titan that possesses a skill to attack. Which programming principle does the attack ability represent? The answer is A. Method. The attack ability represents a method in programming because methods are functions defined within a class in object-oriented programming. They represent the actions or behaviors that an object, in this case, the character named Titan, can perform. In the context of the game, the attack ability is a behavior or action that Titan can execute, making it comparable to a method in programming. Question 144. Given the following pseudocode, which of the following will be the output of the code? The answer is C. 4. In this coding example, we start by declaring a variable named number and assign it the data type of integer. We then set the initial value of the number variable as 2. The next line of code introduces a while loop. The loop will continue until the variable number no longer has a value less than 4. Within the loop, we have one statement that increments the number variable by 1 each time the loop is executed. Applying a bit of logic, we know we will continue adding 1 to the number variable until it is no longer less than 4. And this will occur once the number variable is equal to 4. At which time, we move on to the print statement which outputs the value of the number variable, which is currently 4 and that is also the answer to our original question. Question 145. A user visits a website that they have visited before, but this time they are presented with a warning indicating the website is a potential security risk. The user is also presented with the option to proceed to the website despite the risk. Which of the following is the most likely cause for this warning? The answer is D. The website certificate is no longer valid. When a user visits a website, the browser checks the site's security certificate for validity. If the certificate is expired, revoked, or untrusted, a warning is displayed. In the given scenario, the most probable reason for the warning is that the website's certificate is no longer valid. Now, did you stumble on any of these questions? If you did, no worries, it happens. Just remember, our free CompTIA ITF Plus training course is your secret weapon to mastering these topics.
Access it through our YouTube channel anytime you feel the desire to learn more. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.